Here in the nation, rival political sides have contrasting views on the inter-Korean talks. The ruling party see it as the desired outcome of the president's continued efforts. However, the opposition firmly believe Pyongyang must first and foremost give up its nukes. Kim Min-ji has the reaction from parliament. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea called the talks a result of hard work by President Moon Jae-in and the ruling bloc. The party said although it's unknown what outcome the talks will have, it is clear that peace begins with dialogue. An influential German weekly reported on the special role President Moon is playing for peace amid military threats on the peninsula. This is the result of efforts by the president as well as the ruling party and their refusal to give up even in difficult circumstances at home and abroad. The main opposition Liberty Korea party was critical of the talks. It said they should only be held if North Korea halts its nuclear and missile provocations. The Conservative Party added that the talks should not be used to give the North more time or aid in the completion of its nuclear program. What this government is doing is not eradicating nuclear weapons, but maintaining the status quo, begging for peace and letting time pass by. The minor conservative pattern party said they hope the talks take the two Koreas beyond the Olympics and make strides in solving the nuclear issue. The center-left People's Party showed both signs of concern and anticipation. It said it welcomed the talks, but the South Korean side shouldn't succumb to any unreasonable demands. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.